movement whatsoever from the coaches they're all statues and then when it comes to themselves they want to move now look at them now
Dan serves. He seems to be struggling with them. You don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, how did you yeah. yeah. done with serve? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you done with serve? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Surely done. You can't How does it feel for an away team to come to your own turf and absolutely run you over? Oh, how does it feel? You have one of them ones. Oh, okay. You just build from it. That's it. Good day at the office. Yeah, humbling victory. Um, but the boys deserved it. Uh, best team, strongest team. Game plan look like you just pick out Shad. Um, yeah, once you find a weakness, you gotta go for him. Um, I think he crumbled every time. Try to serve to make uh, make it up for himself, but just crumbled a little bit, put it into his own net, and give us a couple of points. So can't complain. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I wanna um, put, this is the skipper. Skipper, on the. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Um, Enjoying no serves today. Yeah. Hey, it, it was amazing, you know. The boys gave me 110%. Obviously, we started off quite, quite um, rocky, but hey, we came out winners, winners. Hey. Hey. Where, where was your death from? Uh, 
special green. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grow up on Rose and Road. Wow, what's the one? This is like so different to me. Your old man's a boxer, ain't he? Well, he was. Was a boxer, yeah. Back in his day, um, I think he was like amateur boxer, Re Repton Boxing Club, I think. I think it was half decent anyway, he says he was decent. But um, yeah, no, he basically lived, lived and breathed in the gym, to be fair. But no, this ain't a bit of me. This ain't me. That's Has all. He, have you been in the ring with him before? No, when I used to go back in the like, when I was younger, we used to um, have a little break or something. Me and my little brother would be wrestling in the gym. <laughs> never, never done like serious boxing sessions ever. Yeah, never. How are you feel about this? Yeah, it should be exciting. Exciting news. Um, good little test for us, me and Craig. A bit of fitness. So yeah, looking forward to it. Italian champion, Savonero champion, English champion. So we've had them in, but they they, they had fights on. They had fights on. No, no, taking it. Am I much of a boxer? Nah, not really. I've done a little bit for fitness wise, but I might give it a good go. I'm not sure I'll be quite up to his standards, but I won't be far off. <laughs> right, you and Haps. Oh. Been boxing together before? We've done a little bit, obviously, with our rehab with uh, Melvin Keats, but yeah, that's just for fitness. But I reckon this is going to be a little bit tougher, but we'll see. Who do you reckon is going to come out on top of your Haps? Easy. I mean, Haps is an Essex boy. It's soft, isn't it? So it's going to be me, Northern boy. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting your feet like that. So you are, what, so you're left-handed, left left but you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a couple of boys who are right-handed, but they box all like southpaw. They just say it's whatever they like, feel more yeah. comfortable. Sort of thing. Seventeen and a half stone. So he's just yeah. looking at literally calories out of the fuel. So it's like he's got. A, so that's where it is. The eight to twenty split. He needs.
Go over the top rope, Craig. Not what you want to follow, is it? <laughs> 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 Take it, don't we? We'll take it. Oh, it's a blow, that. It's like a sauna in here. You liked it, eh? You like what you saw? Yeah. Yeah? You like what you saw, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I've got the hands, I've got the hands. What do you think this is for? So they just like the little movements and stuff. But... Any good tips picked up? Picked up from what? You want me to give you tips? I can no, give you tips if you want. <laughs> Did you pick any up? It's the feet movement, isn't it? And then you've got a snap in that. Mm. Because you can do it. So there, yeah, bend it a little bit more, yeah? Side on. Side. It's just that though, innit? Like, put it. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Slip ball cross. Bang, bang. Slip right hand left hook. Bang, bang. Roll, hook cross. Bang, bang. Double up. Bang, bang. Two. Bang, bang. Three. Bang, bang. Check. Move, check. Today, what's going on? We're having a bit of training, light training before we spar tomorrow. We've got the uh, Orient boys down. Uh, really good to see them hit the pads in pre season, getting ready for their season coming up. Always had a soft spot today in Orient. My dad used to play for them up to the age of 18. They're my local team as well, so it's good to support each other. And uh, they're looking good. They're going to be tearing it up on the pitch, I have no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's, great, it's great to get the knockout in fights, yeah. but that fight, 
I've learned more than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like to go through it. For the 17 year old, you can feel it, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Listen, you might have a 17 year old come through that's got more talent than all of you. Yeah, but, yeah. Really but it's, it, it ain't everything, yeah. is it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the experience yeah, on the pitch. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, you sign there for me, please. Um, on that one. Oh, 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 I'm terrible things like that. Um, bottom there for me, please. So, Lingy, a new signing for the club today. Can you tell us a little bit about Charlie Kelman? Yeah, Charlie's uh, a player that we've been monitoring and, and had on the radar uh, for quite a while now. It comes to more to the fore, obviously, with the injuries to Aaron Drinnen and uh, Smith. Big Smith. Uh, so yeah, look, he's he played all last season at League One. Uh, the club that he played for last season was one of the people that wanted to say take him again. When I first spoke to QPR, there was you know quite a few clubs that that, that want to take him, uh, and you know it's been a it's been quite a long drawn out process. But I want to thank both Les Ferdinand and Chris Ramsey at QPR. Uh, for helping get this deal over the line and, and Charlie to come into us and, and, and to you know have a season long loan uh, which will be hopefully for us a successful one. We, we, we wanted to keep away from, if possible, someone on their first loan out. Uh, so yeah, he was obviously he was a bit of a boy wonder at South End, so we knew him from then, QPR come in for him uh, and uh, yeah they feel he's going to be a player for them in the future but they feel there's a step to make in between and we we're, we're and we naturally fit that step so it's, it's good news all around. And on the pitch what can we expect from Charlie? Well he's an out and out number nine you know he wants to play through the middle of the pitch uh, he can he can play wide as well but uh, Charlie would be the first one to say that he's, that he's an out and out number nine and, and if you talk to the kid, he lives and breeds off the goals he scores. So an out and out, out goal scorer as well. So look, he's going to be a good addition. When I look at our options now in our forward line, if we had Drinnen and Smith uh, fit as 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 we speak, uh, we've got a front six that that I think that will push us to where we want to go. And, and Charlie comes into that equation. It's going to be a lot of games this season. You know, there's going to be games for everybody, and, and it's going to be, a, you know, there may be some sort of rotation up there, but uh, the be on end of it gives more competition in, in that area, and, and you know, we can now put that that area to bed. The, the forward area is now complete. We feel the defensive area is complete, and we just we just feel that we need one more addition uh, in the midfield area, and someone that can play naturally as an holding or a number four in the modern world, uh, and we're actively looking for that. And would hope to have it in before Saturday, but certainly before the end of the window on the 31st of August. And we know you've had your eye on Callum for a number of weeks now. How pleased are you to finally get it over the line? Yeah, it's been a difficult deal. Be, if anyone that's of quality, you you always got competition against you. So you have to sell your club, what we're about, to him, uh, to to his agent, to QPR. So yeah, it's been it's been one that that's yeah I've been trying to get finished for quite a while now. It's, it's really pleasing this morning to see him coming in and sign the paperwork uh, that's going to be amount, announced you know later on today. And for us, it's just yeah, it's it has been a long out process. But I say normally for the good ones, if you get one really easy, you tend to think it's not, maybe not the right one. But with Charlie, it has been a battle to get him. But we're a battle that well, we all believe is worth fighting. Yes. One. Two. Two, three, four. Let's go! Yes! 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 back in England and I'm, I'm sure that off season's gone by really quickly. It has, it always goes by very quickly, but uh, we've accomplished a lot this summer. I think we're ready to go. Excited for tomorrow? Very, can't wait. Always love being with the crowd, always love being at home. 
Um, it's always great to get a season started. Seems like a little early this year. Maybe we'll do something in July, which seems a little odd, but um, I think it'll end up being a very, hopefully, I hope it'll be a very memorable season. Been around it this morning. Obviously, you've been watching the, the team meeting ahead yeah. of ahead of Grimsby yeah. tomorrow. What are you making of um, this squad and, and the head coach as well ahead of the season? You know, every season is different. We have a different set of players, different group, uh, but we seem to have a really strong side for this season. And you know, it's one of those things where you get ready, and then you see what happens. You just never know. That's what makes it so great. Obviously, you've had some quite memorable times so far. Um, at the helm of, uh, of Leighton Orient, and I guess yeah. that's kind of what makes it what it is, right? Well, the thing is, is that no matter what happens, Orient always loves to make it dramatic. So it'll be there'll be some kind of drama this year. They'll, it'll some of our matches will be super dramatic, um, but it's always a joy to just get to see what happens. Um, it's sort of like watching something you you just don't know what's going to happen, and then it's the thrill of watching it just sort of unfold. So in terms, of, in terms of the season ahead then, have you and the board kind of set any expectations? Well, our expectations every year is that we'll finish in the top seven, be in the playoffs. Um, and so we have that expectation again this year. We build the side in order to, to try to achieve that. We try to put ourselves in a position where we can get promoted every year. Obviously, we've only done it one out of the you know last five years. So hopefully we will figure out a way to, to make that happen again. That's the objective. That's always the objective. Our objective is not necessarily to win the league, um, but to be in the playoffs and at least give our, ourselves a chance to be promoted. And what's on the agenda tomorrow for your match day? Uh, the normal match day. Uh, I'll probably get there about noon, and then I'll mill about, and then I'll end up in the South Stand Bar, and then I'll end up you know, walking throughout and uh, just saying hello to as many people as I can. And then after the match, win, lose, or draw, it's off to the supporters club. So. That's that's my normal roundabout way of getting to as many people as I can. Pacing the balcony during the game? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I've been asked not to walk so many times back and forth. It seems we're going to have to reinforce the concrete, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll be pacing. That's just that's just who I am.